This morning started off with an attack. This attack was just simulated. But a process called Rapid Airfield Damage Recovery, or RADAR, developed and maintained by experts from AFIMSC's Air Force Civil Engineer Center at Tyndall Air Force Base, Florida, is assuring that in the event of an actual major airfield attack, plenty of airmen, regardless of their assigned Air Force career fields, will be trained and know exactly what to do to quickly get airfields back in the fight. They are doing the exercise portion. This is a completely student-led process. There is cadre here for observing and to assist when needed. Some of these AFSCs aren't used to being in loaders and stuff like that. We need to make sure that all of CE is ready to go at any time. After the entire area has been rendered safe, a foreign object debris or FOD removal team gets to work surveying the situation. It's then that the well-orchestrated crater repair components of the Raider process begin with true assembly line execution. The crater repair steps are debris removal, upheaval marking, pavement cutting, pavement breaking and excavation, backfilling, and capping. Our cap is 9,000 PSI, which a typical airfield is about 4,500 and above PSI. And that gives us 3,000 passes for aircraft to come through. Each step in the process has a dedicated crew that performs the same repair step at each crater, one after another, until the step has been completed on all craters in the identified repair zone. All steps are demonstrated by students during the Raider training. We make sure that everyone's on the same page. Our engineers, no matter what location they're going to, they're getting the same amount of training. The Raider process is completely scalable, up or down, depending on the situation. One crater team can repair up to 18 craters in six and a half hours. Now we could have multiple crater teams, so that makes 100 craters go a lot quicker. For the Air Force Installation and Mission Support Center, I'm Brian Godden.